for the third game of the series. This is the rubber game. Brewers trying to win this series at home. Avi Garcia hit a home run last night. He was in the leadoff spot. He's not hitting the leadoff tonight. That is news, but he is in there as the cleanup man this evening against the Minnesota Twins. Hi, everybody. We welcome you from Miller Park. Great to have you with us tonight. I'm Brian Anderson along with Bill Schroeder. We'll hear from Sophia Menard in just a moment. Well, there's a lot of ways you could go with last night's game. The Brewers had a terrific snatch them back win. Mm -hmm. Good comeback down 4-1. But I think the bullpen may be where it all starts with the Brewers. It's been the best piece of this ball club. And no doubt. I mean, they have 10 guys down in that bullpen. They started the season with 11 because starters just weren't going to be able to go too deep into games. Not that they have been doing that so much over the course of the last few years, but they've got that 296 earned run average that bullpen does. That's fifth best in Major League Baseball. Look at the walks to inning and hits the innings pitch. Less than one outstanding work. You got the long guys, Burns and Peralta. They've been tremendous. I mean, all they've done in the last two appearances, nine and in the third innings, 16 punch outs. And the Brewers have a lead after six. It's been pretty much Katie Barr the door. Phelps, Williams, Hayter, outstanding work. The winning scenario bullpen has been terrific. Hayter is on the top of his game, throwing a lot of sliders. As he's looked good. Yeah, Hayter has not allowed a hit nor a run in his first four games of the 2020 season. Well, the bullpen's a big story. There was a lot of discussion about it earlier today, and with more on that, we check in with the third member of our team, Sophia Minard. Hi, Sophia. Hi, guys, and yes, no doubt the bullpen has been a big story. The pitching overall for the Brewers has been excellent. They're already a quarter of a way through the season. Hard to believe, but the pitching has been excellent. When we heard from general manager David Stearns last night, he said that makes you really excited and optimistic about the future. The fact his batting order looks like this, courtesy of Hyundai. Mitch Garber will be in the leadoff spot tonight, then Polanco, followed by Cruz. In the middle, it's Rosario, Gonzalez, and Sano. Jake Cave gets his first start of the series. Byron Buxton and Luis Arise will round out the Hyundai batting order that Eric Lauer will face. His last start was against the Cincinnati Reds. It had been 11 days between outings for that start, and... Lauer was shaky in that start. Rock, he's hoping to turn it around here tonight. And again, I mean, his first time out, it was in relief against the Cubs. That was at Wrigley. Two and two-thirds, one hit, six punch. Excellent off-speed assortment for Maeda. Here's the Hyundai batting order for the Milwaukee Brewers. Craig Council's got Sogard leading off tonight. Keston Hira, then Christian Yelich follow. In the middle, it's Avi Garcia, Justin Smoke, and Ryan Braun. Ben Gamble, Omar Narvaez, and Brock Holt round out the starting nine for the Brew Crew tonight. Fourth start for Maeda. 2 0 oh to start the year with a 265 earned run average. He is only the second ever Japanese born player that has suited up for the Minnesota Twins. They acquired him via trade this offseason. Maeda, 32 years of age now. And